Hi, I'm Allie from Infragistics, and I'm here to show you how easy it is to add our amazing data grid to our Windows 8 inspired Windows Forms application. So let's get started. This is the second in a series of videos that show you how to build applications with Windows Forms. In the first one, we built a Windows 8 inspired application that you can see here that runs on Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7. And we're going to add more functionality in this video. We want to enable customers to be able to click on this tile and then bring up a new form with data showing up in our data grid. So let's first pick the form, go to the Tile View Designer, select the tile, and give it a key. We'll call it Customer's Tile. That's how we'll refer to this particular tile. When I view the code on the form on the Ultra Tile View, click Event. What I can do is check to see if the tile key is customer's tile. If it is, then we will create a new form called Form 2 we haven't made yet, and then we'll show it. So we'll go ahead and close that. We'll make a new form called Form 2. and click Add. We'll make this a bit bigger. Now I'm going to use Data Sources. The Data Sources menu is here under View Other Windows. I'm going to click Add New Data Source and select Database Data Set. We're going to use the Northwind Database and I'm going to choose all the tables. Of course, you can use any data that you like. We are using Northwind here. If I click on Customers, you will see that there's a little drop down here. And here you can see all the controls that can be bound to data. And if yours doesn't show Ultra Grid, you can just click Customize. And you can add the controls that you want to make available for data binding. Mine is Ultra Grid here. So if I click that from the list, my icon changes and I can just drag and drop onto the form. Then if I click the arrow here, I can dock that to fill the screen, which I'm doing here. Then I'm going to go to the designer dialog, and here I can set some properties for the control. You can see I have a feature picker that lets me choose what we can do with it. I want to allow filtering, so I'll turn that on. I also want to allow grouping, so I'll select that as well and click OK. Now we have a functional application and can run it to see how it looks. If I click on a tile, it brings up our grid you can see that we can filter for something specific like one customer, or we can look at all of them. You can group by, so we can group by customer if we want, and you can see how that works. This looks great, but we're gonna make it even better by adding more of a metro look and feel. So let me show you how to do that. In one of the folders on your hard disk, you'll find a styles folder. Here it's under Users Public Documents in Infragistics, your version number, Windows Forms App Stylist for Windows Forms and Styles. I want to choose Metro, so I'll select Copy and then Paste. I want to make sure that when I select that, the app always copies that when it builds the app. So if you go into the Properties window under Copy to Output Directory and choose Copy Always. Those are the styles associated with Metro, so I can make this grid look more like a Windows 8 Metro style grid. So if I go back to the code here on the form, new event, one of the things I can do is load that style up. I have a little snippet of code I'm gonna copy in and we'll put that right here. What this does is it loads that file we just copied into our directory. So now when I run the application, we'll get a slightly better looking user interface.
you can see that it's got more of a metro look and feel. We've got this nice color, different fonts, and it's inherited that metro experience. You can see that that metro experience flowed all the way through our main windows as well. And that's how you build stunning applications with Infragistics and WinForms. So that's what's in development. See you next time.